Do you feel like you've lost out on the one? Are you frustrated that you finally met the man of your dreams who's everything you've ever wanted, but now all of a sudden he's acting weird and the relationship is just fizzling out? I'll be honest with you. I do have a solution for you, but you're not going to like it when I say it. Which is why on today's show, we're going to be discussing what you must know and do if you feel like you've lost the one. I'll warn you, this conversation is going to be extremely painful, but it will give you exactly what you need to pull yourself back together again. Number one is the tragedy storyline. Now, I want you to rid yourself of this idea that your life is a tragedy. When you're of the belief that, oh, I had the person that was absolutely perfect for me, but I've lost out on that person and this opportunity is over and now my life is over and I'm never going to find happiness and I'm never going to find love. So it hurts you and it's painful that way because you have a lot of regret, but it's also even more painful because it hurts you for your future because you prevent yourself from being emotionally available and open to the possibility that you might meet someone even more amazing that gives you even more than you could imagine. But I want you to understand you're actually in control of what you see in your life. And you're only going to see tragedy if you're of the belief that your life is a tragedy. I want this conversation to be like the thing that allows you to just take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out and realize that the process of actually meeting the one doesn't happen in one week. It doesn't happen in one month. You learn and grow with someone and they develop into the person that you're looking for. Someone can fit the mold and fit the criteria of the things that you're looking for. But in reality, being your one, being your person, right? Being the person for you is about growing and understanding you and learning with you and developing together where you become each other's one. I want to assure you that it is more than possible for you to grow relationships with people, especially if you're in the situation where uh, the relationship didn't work out with you and the guy because of how he was treating you. Your natural belief that every new guy is the one, it's not, it's not a crime, but I also want you to understand how that's playing you a little bit. It's actually in some cases preventing you from being able to receive what you're actually looking for in a relationship. The guys who were giving you the absolute most and doing the absolute most for you likely were the guys that you overlooked. There's also men that don't pay that much attention to you and are doing their own thing and actually, you know, taking from you. You're obsessed with those men. So those end up being the men that you're believing you're the one. Because when you are of the belief that someone is the one without you actually properly getting to know them or building a relationship with them, it can actually hurt you because then you start doing things that you shouldn't be doing. You start taking stances and positions in your relationships that you shouldn't be taking because you want this to work and you feel like you're never going to meet this type of person again. The number two point is toys aren't alive. Movies can be so powerful and influential into what you believe real life is. When we're raised up from children, how certain ideas and concepts can start absorbing into our brain so much that we believe they're actually a representation of our real lives. They give you this idea of what your relationship should be like in a dramatization of what real life is like and what relationships are like, right? You start to absorb that subconsciously that, oh my gosh, my relationships are just as dramatic as euphoria. And you start to believe that your relationships are supposed to look like that. They're supposed to be that dramatic. When in reality, you can have great relationships without them being that dramatized. As it relates to feeling like you lost out on the one, I want you to be thinking to yourself, do I feel like I actually lost out on someone who was treating me well and treating this relationship well and taking care of me as a, a wife or a girlfriend? Or do I feel like I lost out on my idea of the one based on the fact that our relationship was as dramatized as euphoria. The person you feel the most attached to, 
um, sometimes can also just be the person you're the most attached to because of the emotional roller coaster that you went through with that person. And in reality, that doesn't necessarily mean you have a good connection because it goes up one day and it goes down the next day. Okay, that's more like a toxic connection. Point number three, there is no such thing as the right person at the wrong time time a function of someone being the right person is the fact that if they are the right person it will subsequently be the right time let me explain this on an even deeper level to you let's assume that a higher power can see my life in its totality right so they see what i consider the past they also see what i consider the present and they also see what i consider the future when you're experiencing someone in the present and they feel like the person that you're going to end up with because you've convinced yourself of that narrative that that's the person you're going to end up with. When you lose out on that person, you convince yourself that, oh, in another world, I was actually supposed to be with you and end up with you. But because of the timing, because of the circumstances and because of the situation, I didn't end up with you. But I should have ended up with you because you were the right person for me. That no, actually, the right person for you comes in your life at the right time, not the time that you want, because you're always going to feel like the best time is right now. And so part of the reason that I say that is because sometimes we forget in our relationships and in our talking stages that as we are progressing, growing, and maturing. We are learning so much. We're growing so much. We're adjusting in our mind frame, in the way we carry ourselves, in the way we approach things. And a lot of times, if you're actually growing, you're able to better understand what the best way to go about relationships is for you, what you're looking for, what's important to you, all of these things that make you a better partner to the right person. But sometimes we forget that in the process of dating people and loving people, we might be going through things with them and those relationships might be fizzling out, not because that's the right person and this the wrong time, but because this is someone that's meant to show us something, teach us something that we take with us for the right person. I still want you to work hard in your relationships. I still want you to put your best foot forward, but I want you to acknowledge that if a relationship doesn't work out, there is a reason it didn't work out. It's not because it was the wrong timing. The right person for you will come into your life at the right time. You just have to be patient and continue to invest in yourself and grow and mature as a human being for when that person comes into your life. So I want you to start thinking of the one more as something that you work towards rather than something that already exists before you can even meet the person. And the more you start to believe of your relationships as working towards being the one or allowing someone else in your life to work towards being the one and less as this magical, fantastical, oh my God, through time and space, we were always meant to be together and fate uh, brought us together. And as soon as our eyes crossed, that's when I knew you were the one and allowing people rather to show you that over time, your relationships will be a lot better and your life will be a lot better because of that. And number four. The question I want to ask you is, which version are you loving? The less you know about someone, the more you can fill in the gaps of who you think they are or who you think or what you think they're like, right? Because you don't know them, because you don't understand them. You, in your mind, implant in them a personality. You then start to believe that, damn, I missed out on the perfect person I was looking for that I always wanted to be with, and I lost out on the one when, in your mind, you created the one out of his meat suit. You just put in a personality that you wanted him to have, but now that the relationship isn't working out, you don't actually know that that's the personality he has. So now when you think back to him and you think back to this relationship, which version are you actually thinking back to? Are you thinking back to real? experiences that you've had with him or are you thinking back to his meat suit and then the character and the personality that you put inside his meat suit not the one that he actually has if the personality you're implanting can never be real you're always going to be disappointed meeting the real person whether or not the real person is amazing or not so then when you're thinking to yourself i've lost out on the one you're not even realizing that you haven't actually lost out on anything you've just lost out on the ability to imagine this meat suit as your prince charming for some of you, you might be hearing this and realizing, damn, hmm, maybe I didn't lose out on the one. Maybe I'm actually perfectly fine in my life just the way I am. 
That is the whole point. I do understand how painful it can be when you feel like that and how easy it is to trick yourself as if, oh, I'm never going to find anyone else like that ever in my life. When in reality, what you were receiving from that person wasn't even all that amazing in the first place. Number five is I want you to let the clock cook. I once used to believe, oh my God, life is so bad. I missed out on my absolutely perfect person. I missed out on the one. My life is so bad. I'm never going to find anyone. And then a couple weeks went by, a couple months went by, years went by. And eventually I thought to myself, I actually, I didn't miss out on the one. I, I actually got exactly what I needed and was supposed to get from that person and that relationship or that situation. And I'm glad that I got that because what I learned from that actually helps me have better relationships now. And I never want you to use your relationships or the fact that maybe some relationships that you've had haven't worked out to convince yourself that either you're a bad person or you're never going to find love or there's something wrong with you. If you feel like you've lost the one, I want you to consider all the points that we discuss so that you can properly contextualize the relationship or for some of you, it's the situationship in your mind and think to yourself truthfully, did I lose the one or did I just lose someone that was meant to be a part of my journey into growing and maturing and eventually actually meeting the person that I'm supposed to be with?